Hi there, this is Christian. I'm here to talk about Place des Arts, which is a downtown concert hall owned by the government, built in the early 1960s, occupying 45,000 square meters between St. Urban and Jean Mans, bounded by St. Catherine and Ontario President Kennedy. The area demolished for Place des Arts included uh, small streets winning and plateau, as well as a church and many homes. The uh, magnificent seven-story Kellert building stood for over four decades at St. Urban and St. Catherine, and was meant to remain, but a fire ended all hopes of that fire, which also killed a c- couple of uh, firefighters. There's one Im- image of the block looking north, and another one, of course, that you could see that much of it was empty. The Kellert building at the corner of uh, St. Urban and St. Catherine stood out as a very nice part of the thing. These are the little streets on the west side of the block, which is... Uh, Winning and Plateau, that's a church on the area. And once again, the Keller building with the uh, mountain magnificent in the background. This is a view on St. Catherine Street. So if you were walking eastbound, you would see that. That's on Ontario, the church that was there, which had several names over the years. It also had an orphanage and some impressive art done by the father of Henry Barassa, Napoleon Barassa. They tried to sell it at the end and threatened to burn it when nobody was offering to buy it. Those are uh, some of the images of the streets in the area, as you could see. Jean Mons and St. Urban would be, of course, the north-south streets with the, uh, the hill, but there's also an incline down St. Catherine and right in front of it. So those buildings here in this image are still there, the church on the left and the Bell Canada building on the right, but of course the stuff at the left is gone, as is this, long demolished. That would be the northern side, the Ontario slash President Kennedy side, long demolished. Once again, these streets, plateau and winning, you see a lot of bay windows on those streets. The gentleman who used to have a monkey organ grinder in Phillips Square, lived uh, in this area. That is a Protestant church on Jean Mons. And once again, that's looking south on Jean Mons towards St. Catherine Street. Same area as well. Same spot. St. Catherine Street is seen in the background, this fellow carrying a bag. St. Catherine there, of course, demolished for complex Guy Favreau, uh, another government building. And that's another shot of St. Catherine. And uh, the Woodhouse uh, Furniture Store was from, open from 1917, very much at the start of the the building. That's from, uh, from the north side, Ontario Street, looking south. Of course, that's demolished. This is the inside of a home on Plateau Street. Many of these photos show the area in the midst of demolition. The tall building on the right is still there, but everything else is gone. The church is named the Dominic Savio Chapel, and the name is not really very much remembered in history. You could see St. George Street was what they called Jean Mons, south of St. Catherine at the time. The Woodhouse Department's uh, store, of course, there. Little plateau slash winning streets, tiny little streets that were uh, probably not that well known even to people in the area. Those are two uh, old school structures. That is on St. Catherine Street, the north side. Once again, the little tiny streets. Mayor Drapeau, of course, was very keen on elitist culture, sort of concerts and orchestras that would uh, occupy the uh, 
concert halls of Place des Arts and uh, was willing to sacrifice this area for that. Much of the area was empty, so it wasn't entirely outrageous to build there. So that's on St. Catherine Street. Of course, the Keller building is on the right of that image. Tiny little winning and plateau streets there. In the distance, you can see the uh, Bell Canada building again. All those trees and parking spots are long gone. We're looking at, uh, I believe, St. Urban Street here. That would be on St. Catherine as well, the same uh, church the Dominic Sabio uh, Chapel. There's a map. You could pause at that spot if you were curious about the geography and the street layout. Trees are getting chopped down here. That's the uh, Hydro-Quebec building in the distance that's being built. Once again, you could see the uh, mountain these are, these are shots of the land looking towards the north. All of that turned into concrete later. All the bay w windows and balconies are long gone. Those beautiful little cars are all gone as well. The decision to raise this area was made in the 1950s. They're the uh, demolition workers. As a result, several other music venues around town closed up in anticipation of losing all their business. The Princess over at uh, Guy and de Maisonneuve would have been the, the main concert hall prior to this. And those who lived through the 1980s will recall that the Montreal mayor, Jean Drapeau, was also very keen to get another concert hall going. And that was a major obsession in the newspapers throughout the 1980s. I don't really understand why there was a need for another concert hall when we already had Place des Arts, which is something that costs the public enormous amount of money. And uh, other artists who would, would have gotten part of the um, government arts budget lose out because of the, the incredible expense of Place des Arts. There's a small map showing some of the streets, little streets that disappeared, Platte and Kimberley. That was politicians joyously start, starting the demolition. <laughs> 